Hey, my rider dies out there. This is TC, your guiding chariot. Um, so we're going to start a new kind of series. I'm hoping, hoping, fingers crossed, I can do this every week. Um, I really enjoy doing that kind of just guided, guided reading I did a couple weeks ago. Um, and I was talking to my friends who really supported it and gave me some great feedback. Uh, shout out to my girl, Third Eye Mind Trick, on Instagram for really pushing me to make this a thing. Um, you can also check out her new incense shop just to give her some love uh, on Etsy, Ritual Incense. Um, she makes she makes all these her own blends, all beautiful, good for you ingredients. Um, it's all loose incense you can burn like a charcoal burner. Oh my god, they're amazing. She has a couple different intentions. Check out her new shop. It's amazing. You will not regret it. Um, but she was the one who really kind of pushed me and I had other friends that were super supportive of it. So we're going to do this new series. And it's really just kind of a just kind of guided reading. Like, there's really no intention behind it. Um, there's no singular purpose. We're just kind of going to let whatever, whatever needs to come through, come through. All right. And what better timing than right in the middle of eclipse season? Like, come on. Who doesn't need a little extra right now? All right. So welcome to our first ever Timeless Tuesday. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, that'll be a lot right out the gate. All right, let's start with these bad boys. Bottom of the deck right now, Ace of Swords. So truth, clarification, communication possibly for some of us. So we've got the Eight of Cups coming out, walking away. We found the truth. Something needs to be left behind. The star. Oh, sorry. Come on, focus. You can do it. The star. Hopeful for what's coming, the new, right? Nine of Pentacles, so very solo energy. All right, I think a lot of us, if not actually leaving someone behind, so if this isn't walking away from someone or something, if this has already been done, right? Or just you're releasing yourself from the attachment to something, right? We're, we're separating from something. So if it's not a physical thing where we're actually leaving a person or situation, this is detaching from whatever attachments we had to how things should be or, or a particular desire we've had, whatever it is we're trying to manifest. Now we're at a point where, where you need to free yourself from that. And also have faith and trust that going it solo for a little bit or doing your own thing, you know, or just doing without this, whatever this is, is the right path. There is going to be a little faith exercise going on there, but again, bottom of the deck, was this Ace of Swords. So we already understand why this needs to happen. Now we're at a point where you you can't put it off any longer. So if you haven't done this, because some of you I think this has been done and now you're just getting rid of the attachment to it. Some of you, this still needs to be done. You know, and it's so funny, there is a full moon in this card. We have a full moon in Capricorn? Capricorn, coming up. <laughs> I'm smart, I paid attention. <laughs> So if you haven't, use the energy of the full moon to help you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Love this. Look what came out. Ten of cups. I want to see those cups in there. There we go. Ten of cups. Look at our happily ever after. This is why we needed to walk away. Because remember this, this came up in reverse. Whatever we were attached to, maybe... Maybe we thought that was going to be our Ten of Cups. I promise you it's not. But you need to leave it so that you can find your true, your true Ten of Cups, what it's meant to be. There's the Ace of Swords again. So we already know why that's here. We already know that's our truth. Look at that. Then we have Five of Pentacles also in reverse, right? And it's nice having the Five of Pentacles in reverse, because upright, it is, again, kind of echoing this, this solo energy. But here in the Nine of Pentacles, we're secure, we're confident, we're independent. You know, the Five of Pentacles is outcast and unsupported and alone, right? And that's not the case. And it's not the case now with this coming up in reverse. You're not alone in this. Are you solo? Yes, but not alone. I would almost argue that for some of you, if this... And I'll be completely honest, and I'm talking to myself when I say this to you. <laughs> like, some of you, I feel like this is 
having to do with a relationship, right? Because we have the we already have the Ten of Cups out. So some of you, this may be, you know, you're in separation, whether you just left the one you wanted to be with or the one you thought you would be with, or you've been going alone for a while and you're like, the fuck? Like, why? When's it going to happen? How come? Right? This Five of Pentacles coming up in reverse. Like, I want to say that you are, you're still connected, right? There's still an energetic support there. If this is indicative of, of literal people around you who are your support and are, and are you know cheering you on and helping you through and all of that, I think this goes a little bit deeper. And you yourself are connected to the support, to, to the person, quote unquote, that is going to give you this Ten of Cups, whether you know who they are or not. Like, I... Like, because I know this happens to me, and it took me a while to really kind of embrace what it was and what it meant. And even some days, if I'm on, if I happen to be on a low day, I still slip into that headspace and need to talk myself back out of it. God bless me with some amazing friends who are incredibly patient and tolerant and listen to me bitch about the same bullshit over and over and over again. Because apparently I need to say it 20 times before I learn it. But I feel like some of you probably can relate to this, where there's just this pull like you feel this thing, whatever it is, whether it's a relationship or it's something else, but you feel it coming, you feel it nearby, or you feel it tugging you. Like Lord knows I have been feeling that for a long time and it, it, it would mess me up and it felt like such a, such a painful thing at first. You know, but you know, I had a wonderful friend who pointed out, like, actually I've had a couple wonderful friends who pointed out the same thing on different occasions. Because again, I have to bitch about it several times. <laughs> but pointed out what could be, you know, what could be perceived as you pulling on something, trying to attract it and trying to bring it closer to you. What you could be feeling is the, is the person on the other end pulling you, right? Just as badly as you're searching for them and feeling them out, they're doing the same thing. So you're tugging at both ends. You're both working towards making this happen. There is energetic connection there. Right? And I get it, I can say that, and you're like, yeah, I still would rather have this person here with me. You're right, and I get it, yes. But again, as you're growing and as you're spiritually going through the shifts and the growth and the expansions that need to happen, energetically they are there supporting you. The same as you are energetically supporting them. Look, I say that, bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. Look at that nice little home space, a little space of gratitude. Ooh, ooh, that's good stuff. Okay, let's go. Ooh, okay. We've got Nine of Wands sitting in the middle of it. So this could be a couple things. This could be, you know, kind of a stubborn, kind of frustrated kind of energy. It can also just be tired. Like, just, I've been doing this for so long. Like, when do I get to do something else? You know, whether it's waiting, whether it's just, you know, sticking to the grind when does this when do i get to the 10 why am i stuck at the nine lord knows i hear you i totally hear you on that Ooh, okay oh i saw you i saw you thank you thank you thank you oh I love it, 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 I love it. Okay, so I'm going to save you because you came out last. We're so excited for that one. So I did flip the, is it king? Should be king. Nope, knight. I lied. So I did flip the knight of swords over. Technically popped a reverse, but too bad. I flipped it over. Uh, but we have the magician and the knight of swords. So I, I honestly, I'm going to, I'm just going to throw it out there. If this is a relationship, this is the two of you. And I want to say, the person watching this video, you're the magician. You're the one with the power. You're the one manifesting. You're the one, I don't want to say you're in control or you're in charge, but you're the one who's present. You're there. You're ready. Like you are. You're ready. You showed up with all the tools and you're just, all right, I'm at the meeting point. I'm at the meeting point. What? I'm here. In all of my glory. All my little magic-y shiny wonderful glory shining and beaming so you can find me i'm right here boom 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 not only did i bring a light i'm also standing in the light you can't miss me i'm right here 
that's you. There's the other person coming in as this Knight of Swords. Not a bad energy, but clearly not on your level, boo. Clearly not on your level. And again, that is not a bad thing. I kind of want to clarify just this, and we will in just a moment. But we were talking about, as we were getting these cards, we were talking about this, oh, I've been doing this for so long with this Nine of Wands. I've been holding the fort, I've been standing my ground. When do I get to push on? When do I get to break through? Now, look at this world card, completion of a cycle. Karmic release also. We started with the eight walking away, and here we finish it out. Right? Like, when I say you're showing up as the magician, you're showing up as the magician. You have done the work. You are in the position of power. And I will say, whatever's causing you to wait, whatever's caused you to kind of, like, stall for this long, waiting for this person to show up, it's over. The end is near. It's over. It is over. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords. Spirit, what's going on with this Knight of Swords? What do we need to know? Oh! Okay, we got two. First one out, Eight of Wands. I love it. Because that's speed, that's haste. I told you the end is coming soon. Whatever this person needed to sort out or needed to solve. Oh, oh my god. Ah, Ace of Cups. Oh, they're coming with an Ace of Cups. I love it. I love it. So, whatever it was they needed to sort out, because they needed to sort something out. Whatever it was. Whether it was a karmic relationship, whether it was just their own self-development, whether it was getting to the same vibration as you, whatever it is, they're almost done with it. This is also an energy of someone who's lurking out. So this could be someone eyeing you, this could be someone watching you, right? They're not quite ready to charge in, but they're watching and studying and learning, right? So they could, they could already have their eyes on you and they just haven't been bold enough to come say, hey, you know, again, don't worry. Because that Eight of Wands is communication, it's speed, it's haste, and what is it bringing? What is this communication about? It's about this Ace of Cups. So if anyone out there is single, been worried about being single, is wondering if this person is the right one, or if you've been thinking of this person, talking to this person, and you're like, is, are they ever going to speak up? Are they ever going to open up? Are they ever going to take it there? Are they ever going to take me here? Are they my Ten of Cups? I think the cards pretty much gave you a big yes. Now, am I saying this is happening tomorrow? I wish. But soon. But again, it's dependent on this person rising up to you. If that's one thing you can take away, know that it, this isn't about you. You've done what you needed to do and you came, you came up, you showed up, and you were prepared. This person is catching up to you. And I will say, since this person is the Nine of Swords, and they could be watching you, they could be spying, they could be keeping tabs on you, they're watching your Instagram feed, they're on your Facebook, they're, they're looking who you're talking to, you honestly could have shown up so prepared and so bomb and so amazing that they are stunned and now they are scared. So they're like, shit, can I live up to this? Like, my, is my piddly little knight self going to walk up to this bomb magician and be like, hey, I'm worthy of you? Am I? Could I be? Right? So some of what they're learning may even be this Ace of Cups could be their own self-love, dealing with their own self-worth. Maybe they see themselves as a sword, or not a sword, they see themselves as a knight, when really they're more than that, but this is what they see. You know, they could also be a magician who sees themselves as a knight. That's not, that's not who you want to be with, because they're not ready for that. Right? They're not ready for you. But, ooh. Ooh. Yep. So I was I was wanting to clarify the magician, and I'll clarify the world. So this is the three of swords under the magician. This is what you overcame. This is what you pushed through. The pain, the hurt, the sadness, the idea of the loss. We started with we started with this. The eight of cups. This was probably super painful for a lot of you. If not all of you. All of us. I'm totally included in this reading. Like, legit. There has been a lot of emotional pain in your past that you have overcome. You may have been really strong and got through it really quick. This may have been something that required you to be on this journey of your, of your own you know, solo acts, your own journey of self-love. 
for a couple years. You know, and that and time doesn't matter, right? As, as long as we get there. And you did, you got there. So don't, don't think this is what you're dealing with. This isn't around you anymore. You've overcome it, you've overpowered it, which is beautiful. It is beautiful, I love it. Okay, let's do this world card. Like that. This we know. So we've got the, I'll show it to you, but we've got the Four of Swords. I feel like that, there we go. I was like, there is definitely more to this. Yeah, I <laughs> Oh, makes me happy. All right, so start with the Four of Swords. So this was part of the journey, right? The rest, the recovery. Again, the world is about an ending. So once we get to the end of this cycle, we can lay the swords down, we can recover, and we're like, oh my God, we're done. We went from the three to the four, right? You've already dealt with the three, so you're already here waiting. This is how you've been waiting for them, in this space of healing and rest and recovery as they've sorted out whatever they needed to sort out, right? And now we have the six of swords. So the three to the four, now to the six. What's beautiful about this is there's so much movement. And then you can even see in this in this particular card, here you're here you're like on this little sled hooked up to hooked up to this seal. So there's support. There's someone helping you along, right? So again, there's travel, there's movement. It picks up pace. We just need this person to get to the understanding that they need to be here, close out whatever it is they need to close out. Like I said, if they're in a karmic or you know, they've got to get to their own unique vibration, whatever it is, however they need to kind of resolve what's going on for them. Once that happens, everything clicks. And then I think they fully are ready to offer what you've been waiting for. Because that's a big thing, right? Because until this is ready, he doesn't know what to say. He really doesn't. And it's not that he doesn't feel it or it, he doesn't understand what it is he wants. He may not. I'd like to give him a little more credit, but he can't put it into words. It, it doesn't, it's not significant for him yet. After this shift, after this, this little obstacle he has to push through, he gets it. And then he just knows this is what I need to bring in. This is what I have to offer, right? This is what's replacing that three of swords. And actually, I shouldn't even say that because this three of swords doesn't matter anymore. You're over here sitting at the six. You're like on the sled, ready to go. You're like, bitch, just jump on. I just I need you to jump on, please. Hurry up. <laughs> and like bottom of the deck, temperance, divine timing. Divine timing. It's coming together. What's underneath that? Temperance. We got the strength card. So that gentle quietness, the overcoming. Could be a Leo, possibly, maybe. Just throwing that out there. And nine of cups, contentment. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Especially these two together. To me, this is really indicative of you. And it really is. Because through, through the way you had to process this Three of Swords, and honestly, it probably was a hanged man moment. Like, it felt real still. It felt real dark. You know, you had a very dark night of the soul. That you probably had to use some type of faith. Um, some type of belief system, whether it was a religion, whether it was, you know, any other way to kind of help heal your soul, there was some type of, of practice in there. I, you know, I'm just going to be bold and say, I, like, it feels like a spiritual practice for a lot of the people who, you know, really are showing up on this side of the reading, which I think is pretty much the people watching. And then the other person is the Knight of Swords. But through this process, you have found the inner strength and that inner contentment because this is what we want to match. You know what you know what I mean? Like this is the pair. We want them to walk in with this same energy, to be strong, you know, and not strong where you're aggressive and dominant, strong where it's assertive and it's a knowing. I know I'm capable. I know I'm worthy. I know I can do this. I don't have to be brash and, and ridiculous and, and, you know, belligerent about it. Like I just know. I just know I can make it all right because I'm satisfied. I'm happy with where I am. I know what brings me joy and I've cultivated it and I live in that energy every day. That's where we want them to meet us. So that's, this is the level where we, we're waiting for them to get to. So yes, it sucks that we're waiting, but 
know that that's not on you. We're just waiting for them to catch up. All right, my loves, I'm going to wrap this up here before this is like an hour long reading. But I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments. Like I said, this is kind of just turning into just a guided reading. There's really no plan for it. We're just going to pick a deck, pull some cards and see what happens. Um, I just did tarot this time. So if you like the mix of tarot and oracle, or if you want to like clarify with a different tarot deck and let me know what you like and we'll see what happens next week. Hopefully. <laughs> I need, I need to get on my time management. That's my, that's my thing. That's my commitment to you guys. All right. But I hope you enjoyed it again. Let me know down in the comments. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. I appreciate all the support. You guys are amazing. I legit mean it when I call you my ride or dies. That's that's who you are. You're all my you're all my little rider dies on my chariot and we're all racing to that finish line together. And what a beautiful finish line it is. Look at that. Oh, makes me happy whenever the 10 of cups pops up. All right, I'm going to let you go. Enjoy the rest of your week. Um, it's going to be a great one. Um, get ready for the upcoming lunar eclipse in Capricorn. That'll be exciting. I think it's on the 5th, if I remember correctly. I think it's coming up on the 5th. Yeah, something like that. Um, but again, wishing you the best. I love you guys. Take care. And I will see you next week. Bye.